Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this episode uh, we will make uh, the list of 15 best uh, solo board games about uh, World War II naval warfare. So let's start. Tokyo Express uh, the Guadalcanal Campaign 1942. It is a 1988 vintage game for one or two players. In the solitary version you command US fleet, you group your ships into formations, assign them orders and select the targets to attack with torpedoes and guns. Fleet Command Nimitz Released in 2014, this is a completely solo game that covers the entire Pacific War from the US point of view, with historically accurate forces displayed across the map. The game contains four campaigns and rules to link campaigns to play the entire war. Success depends on the vital balance between strategic and tactical focus. You must move your forces across the map to achieve your strategic goals. You can play each campaign as a standalone game or as a part of linked series of games. Silent War Released in 2005, a game is made for one or two players to play. The scenario allows players to create various stages of the war or entire campaign. In the, each of these scenarios, the player takes uh, on the role of uh, commanding submarines, US Pacific Fleet, in order to attack Japanese Navy. The game map covers the huge expanse of Pacific theater of submarine operations. Special rules include American torpedo improvement, submarine repair, and readiness, wolf packs, campaign and command events, war progress, patrol and search, Japanese battleship doctrine and more. Victory at Midway Released in 1992, it is a game which can be played either by one player or two players. Victory at Midway simulates the historical World War II naval battle between Japan and the United States of America. Players take up the role of the naval commanders and make their plans on their own maps in the double-blind turn-based system. They move their ships, conduct aerial reconnaissance and designate areas for airstrikes. Carrier – The Southwest Pacific Campaign 1942-1943 this is a solitary war game simulation of both historical and hypothetical carrier battles in the South West Pacific naval campaigns of 1942 and 1943. As a US commander, you maneuver your task force and conduct air searches in a tension packed contest to find Japanese carriers before they locate and attack. You. And I just want to remind you that some of these wonderful games are available on Amazon. And if you really want to get any of those games and at the same time support TankZone, you can do that with these by using affiliate links that are provided in the description. So if you are interested, then go ahead and check those links. But we will continue with next game. Game's title is We Must Tell the Emperor. It is released in 2010 and it is absolutely and only solitary game for one player to play. In this game, you as a military and political leader of Japan must drive the enemy far away from the home islands while also securing enough precious resources to maintain your empire. As the various headline cards are revealed, you must deal with enemy offensives and constant resource crisis. Important part of the game are resources and navy. Malta Besieged 1940-1942 Game released in 2011 is a solitary game covering unstable years of World War II 
in 1940 through 1942. You are placed in the role of the Commonwealth Command and must utilize every resource at your disposal to fend of unrelentless Axis attacks in order to ensure the survival of the island of the Malta. Steel Wolves, the German submarine campaign against Allied shipping. Released in 2010, it is a solitary simulation of German submarine war against uh, British and Allied shipping. Your mission is to deploy your forces with maximum effect to destroy British and Allied shipping while limiting your own submarine losses. The game map breaks Atlantic, Mediterranean, South Atlantic and Western Indian Ocean into historical operational areas through which submarines patrol. Special rules feature actual historical events uh, such as Invasion of Norway, Operation Torch, an ultra-intelligence war, torpedo improvements, uh, German wolfpack attacks and many more. U-Boot, the board game. It is released in 2019. It allows from 1 to 4 players uh, to assume the role of a captain, the first officer, navigator and the chief engineer on board of a U-boat. This game is driven by companion app allowing for unprecedented level of realism, as well as a challenging enemy AI, which will push your skills to the limit. The Hunters, German U-Boats at War, 1939-1943, game released in 2013. It is solitary tactical level game uh, placing you in command of German U-boats during World War II. Additionally, this game can be played with human opponent as well. Your mission is to destroy as much Allied shipping and as many capital ships as possible while advancing your crew quality and increasing your command rank. All major World War II U-boat models are accounted for with every level of detail including period of service, armament, crew makeup, damage capabilities and many other features. But before we get to our top 5, what about you sharing your opinion? Which one of these games is your favorite game? Maybe your favorite game is not mentioned in this top and maybe it should be. So write that in the comments, so what do you think? Do not forget to subscribe because in following episodes uh, we will take a look at best uh, aviation warfare board games uh, during World War II. And if you like this video, give it a like uh, to help it reach more audience. But now let's carry on with number 5. By Stealth and Sea. Released in 2020, this is a solitary or cooperative war game that takes place during the Battle of the Mediterranean during World War II. Under your command, team of frogmen will pilot torpedoes in attacks against the Royal Navy in a heavily guarded harbors. Objective of the game is to score points based on the type of naval vessel and supply ships you sink. Points scored during the mission can be used to advance your technology and train your operators for future missions. Your goal for a campaign is either to meet or even exceed the historical accomplishments of the manned torpedo operators. Silent Victory, US submarine in Pacific, 1941-1945. Game released in 2016, made for one or two players to play. It is tactical level game placing you in command of American submarine during World War II in Pacific. Your mission is to destroy as much Japanese shipping and as many warships as possible while advancing your crew. Patrols will take you to the different parts of Pacific and game requires you to 
assess risk and weigh out risk reward ratio before making any choices. All the major US fleet boat types are accounted for with every level of detail including period of service, armament, crew makeup, damage capabilities and the many other features. The Hunted Twilight of the U-Boats 1943-1945 Game released in 2020 the Hunted is solitary tactical level game, placing you in command of a German U-boat during World War II. You will command one of many U-boat models available starting in 1943 until the end of the war. U-boats have every level of detail including period of service, armament, crew makeups, damage capabilities and many other features. Your mission is to destroy as much allied shipping and as many capital ships as possible. Empire of the Sun Game released in 2005, it is made for one or two players to play. Game has a card-driven system and has a strategic level look at the entire war in a Pacific from the attack on Pearl Harbor until the surrender of Japan. It resembles classical hexagon game while retaining all of the tension and uncertainty of the card-driven system. The player is faced with a wide set of clear strategic choices. Combat is based on successfully bringing superior combat land, air and sea forces to bear in a two-tier combat system. The first tier is a resolution of air naval combat, the second tier covers ground combat. The culmination of both tiers result in one side prevailing in battle. Atlantic Chase, released in 2021, it is the most recent game in our list. This game is made for one or two players to play and simulates the naval campaigns through the North Atlantic between surface fleets of Royal Navy and Kriegsmarine between 1939 and 1942. It utilizes the system of trajectories uh, to model the fog of war. Players arrange trajectory lines across the game board, where each line represents task force path. This game is full of uncertainty elements uh, like it was during the war in the Atlantic. And that's it guys for today. Thank you for watching and following Tank Zone. Please do not forget to subscribe. If you like this video, give it a like. Meanwhile, I wish you a wonderful day, success in gaming, good health, and I will see you in the next episode.